Hi everyone, my name is Beth Romanski. I am an integrative nutrition health coach, a certified 21 day sugar detox coach, and a further food wellness expert. I am so excited to be part of this uh, sugar detox challenge as a moderator. I'm really happy um, for all of you for coming this far in the past seven days and congratulations on making it through your sugar detox challenge. Hopefully you're feeling amazing after just seven days of not having added sugar in your diet. You can find me at My Healthy Transitions Health Coaching, uh, www.myhealthytransitions.com and at My Healthy Transitions Health Coaching on Facebook and as well as following me on Instagram at My Healthy Transitions. So again, I'm here to just congratulate you here at the end of the Sugar Detox Challenge to help you with some post-detox transition tips. Because you're feeling so great, you definitely don't want to go back to any of your you know, old habits and just continue on this path, right? So here it goes. A couple of tips for you, first of all, is what I just said, is celebrate your success. I'd love for you to actually write this down, um, see where you start at the beginning of the week, the beginning of the challenge, and see how you feel. Has your energy improved? Has your sleep improved? Do you just feel a little bit better about yourself and feeling like you know, maybe your diet really is impacting your health and how can you continue on that? Write it down and actually put it in front of you because I think that's really important for you to revisit You know, when you sort of have those times when you may not be feeling so great, maybe tempted to um, you know, eat a little bit poorly and just kind of go off your healthy habits. Go back to that and say, you know what, I felt really great eating this way. And the way that we offer this program, it's very whole food based, very sustainable. So definitely write that down and keep it in mind in the future. You can also treat yourself. If you've ever heard about the treat yourself sort of tagline, definitely go out and do that with a non-food reward, of course. So maybe you want to give yourself a pedicure or a massage or you know, just do something for yourself for a change. I think that's a great way to celebrate your successes. All right, step number two is how you reintroduce foods. It's really important. So what we did is we gave you actual food lists. Maybe you followed a meal plan. And so now you're on your own. What do you do, right? Well, you can certainly follow something similar to that template in the future. But as you reintroduce some foods, what I tell my clients to do who go through um, my one-on-one -on -one coaching programs or my 21 day sugar detox challenge is really to reintroduce foods carefully and strategically. And the way to do that really is to do it one food at a time. So for example, if you had eliminated dairy during this challenge just to see how you feel and you wanna say, you know, do I really tolerate dairy? How does that make me feel? What you do is you reintroduce just that one food one day at a time for maybe even you know three times a day. You wanna do it so your body's sort of getting adjusted to it. And then do that for up to three days. So don't go all out and say, I'm gonna throw in all this stuff, go on a sugar bender, because you're gonna feel awful after seven days or 21 days or however long you do the detox. You're gonna feel awful if you go and do that right away. And so what I have is actually a journal for my clients, part of my program. So you could do this easily on your own. Just write it down. See how you feel at, you know, as reintroducing those foods. Do you have joint pain? Um, how is your stomach? How does your stomach feel about that? How are your moods? Are your cravings back? All those little signals your body is designed to tell you without even getting some allergy testing or food sensitivity testing. If you really start to pay attention to what your body's saying and what it needs, then you can start to see trends and find out really what works for your body. And I actually specialize this working with my clients. Um, I create personal nutrition blueprints because I really think it's important for everybody to figure out really what works for them and not just follow something that works for somebody else. So that's my tip is to really think about reintroducing foods carefully and thoughtfully throughout this um, next sort of transition phase out of your detox. All right, so the other thing that I have a tip about is to monitor your sweet tooth. So we're not saying by doing a sugar detox challenge that you have to be off all sugar forever. 
And there are healthier sugars and others. I actually did a podcast about this recently if you want to check out my page. But um, hopefully Further Food has some great articles about this too, about healthier types of sugars like raw honey, um, you know, coconut sugar. If you do green leaf stevia, that's really the green leaf kind, not the processed kind. Or if you do things, you know, more like just regular fruits um, that are more sugary that maybe weren't on the detox uh, yes or no list. Just adding some more things in naturally can really satisfy your sweet tooth and your cravings. But monitor that because there's certainly no reason why you can't have a little bit of sugar in your diet unless you have some reason, you no know, health condition that you really want to be more careful about it. But what I do is I start to think, you know, is this really triggering sweet cravings? Is this food something that in me, is it really something I've had a little bit more of? And then if you're like, you know, I could really go back to this challenge and revisit it. Um, you kind of want to monitor that sort of journal and not to say like you have to count, you know, calories or do anything of that, but really listening to your body and limit those added sugars, meaning anything added would be like fruit juices. Um, a lot of things are sneaky sugars and synonyms that you don't even know on labels. So read those labels carefully. Anything that ends in O's, for example, but even healthy sugars like evaporated cane juice syrup and all those things that are a lot of the, you know, in healthier processed foods, some of those things can trigger sweet cravings. So just monitor those. And I would also continue to limit artificial sweeteners as well. Um, some of the exceptions are the more you know natural options, like I said, are green leaf stevia. But other than that, artificial sweeteners, especially like the ones that are aspartame, you know, the packets, Splenda's, those types of things can really trigger sweet cravings. And I actually wrote an article about that um, that will be posted on the Further Food blog. So if you want to check that out, it's also about surprising reasons that you may be craving sugar. And that'll really give you some insight too about what's behind your sugar cravings. And lastly is really I encourage you to continue on this journey. Further Food has amazing wellness articles. I'm a wellness expert. I'm constantly writing and supporting them. But really just continue this journey. Um, this was just the beginning. You can certainly continue to work with a health coach like myself. We have a lot of resources here for you to support you in furthering your nutrition goals. So that's it. Again, this is a very short video. There's a lot more to say, but congratulations again on your completion of the Further Food Sugar Detox Challenge. My name is Beth Romanski. I'm a certified uh, 21 Day Sugar Detox Coach. I run 21 Day Sugar Detox programs as well as work, work with one-on-one -on -one clients. I'm an Integrative Nutrition Health Coach. And you can find me at My Healthy Transitions Health Coaching at www.myhealthytransitions.com. And there I have an extra bonus for all of you. And that is when you go to that website, if you want to receive some updates from me, I'm sending out a bunch of articles, um, recipes, just so many great things all the time. And if you sign up to be um, on my update subscriber list, you'll receive a free sugar cleanse cheat sheet which you can keep with you all the time, post it on your fridge, and that'll keep you motivated. Thanks again, everybody. It's great to meet you here, and I look forward to connecting with you again.